Hey y'all, I am back. I'm actually in the process of a new computer after all these years. Uh, as part of that build, I am integrating a 5090 and I will be water cooling it. And with the difficulty in getting these uh, with supply when they uh, EK, as well as Elf Cools had theirs up for sale, I bought them both and hope for the best. And ironically, they both came within a week of each other. So I thought I'd send out a, sh a share a video, just com kind of comparing the two. Uh, I do have a heat killer for a 3080 that I had that I was testing out to kind of give a feel back to something I, some, a brand that I don't think has changed at all over the years. I think they consistently just make great products. So looking at just uh, the water cooling here, we can see that EK kind of continues to have the mill marks in it. Uh, they do use the acrylic as a part of the channel, so you see that uh, some carving up into the acrylic is a part of it. Uh, here, you see that that's a lot less of it. You have a little bit here in the channels, but the rest of it is just straightforward, uh, just with one big loop there. You do note that they do smooth, it looks like, uh, their machining, so you see it's much shinier. I'm trying to go from an angle there so you can see uh, that reflective part. Uh, you'll see the front piece here. They use metal connectors here where you see more acrylic. If I go and look at the heat killer really quick, this has been used, so it's got a little bit of discoloration, but you can see it's more of a, a brushed metal versus uh, a clean, shiny, like we see, as well as they do the brushed metal on everything, as well as the connectors, uh, just a hard plastic acrylic. Um, if we look at the side profile here, uh, you'll see that that is brushed aluminum. Looks good, kind of really covers up the graphics card. Uh, we're here, you'll see that they go with a more open uh, design. If I wanted to flip it over to what it's gonna look like on the front, facing you in your actual computer case, um, you can see, you continue to see this really nice brush metal where on the Alphacool, it's just a piece of metal not finished. I do like this a lot more, similar to the heat killer. Forgive the marks on it, this is stored in a box and has some thermal pad uh, goo uh, all over it. Uh, so here, fit and finish. Uh, this one, I see no flaws on it on this side. This looks good. This is not perfect. If you're going to be real anal about it, you can see there's a little bit, almost like there's a water stain there, but I could not wash it off. Um, up here, really hard to see, but you'll see right above the screw, there's a little scuff like someone messed up with a screwdriver, but that's kind of deep. And it was not me. That was like a like at the instant I opened it up, but and you may scratch something like this. It's a darker brushed aluminum and that can get scratched up with ease, so be careful. But um, a couple little flaws there uh, here, nothing, but it's probably a much more durable surface, uh, but notice that. And so we wanted to open it up and look at it. EK has screws that when you unscrew them, they stay, but still come undone, which is just amazing. I see all these screws I gotta keep track of taking off on the other ones, and man, that's just nice not have to track those down and worry about losing them. They're probably sick and tired of people ordering new ones uh, every time it did it. So um, this should pop right off. And then here I do have, to take out two screws, I do have on here holding this in. Oh, that we can see it. Right there is an example of where you could mess it up if you're not careful. But this is a much sturdier surface. I actually have that screw from heat killer on there so we're gonna do that real quick and here okay almost got it off I apologize for the slight delay we will speed that up okay so I'm gonna set this aside over here all right so looking at this similar uh, we see machining marks. We have it chrome plated over here. We also have machining marks. Uh, so it is not perfect, uh, but that's okay. Where well, we're going to press against it. I think they're all both set to offset. I don't know about, again, but about performance. Um, I did open this up of like a little bit ago. It's kind of a little bit dirty. That's not my fingerprints. It was like that. And I do have that mark there. I think that is a mark in the clear plating. Um, I don't think that's something I could clean off. It's not a goober, but that's something in the chrome plating that is not uh, perfect. It's not flawless, so that's on the, the Alpha Cool. Um, over here, it's looking pretty good to me. I don't see anything. I got my fingerprint there from pulling it off, but outside of that, I would say that this actually does look better on this side. Um, I think the Alpha Cool, I'm sorry, um, EK, doing a little bit better of a job. Um, and then for the just gonna feel this does have its thermal pad still on it. I'm gonna be careful I don't do anything. Um, this has been used, it's seen a life, uh, but this is, to me, similar to the EK, 
more to the EK than to the alpha cool. Um, I noticed that this is raised here where the GPU is going to touch. It's not raised there. I don't know if that's just going to allow for, I don't know. I mean, I guess this does look thinner than this. And so they're going to adapt for it to, to make it work. Um, looking at the hardware, looks similar. I don't see any issues. Um, I just, yeah, again, I think the EK is a little bit better. I know they got all their issues, but... If you can get the product, I, I guess I would like it. I, there is definitely a price difference. I want to say it's almost $100 difference. So you are paying for that. And then you risk long-term uh, solvency of the company. I would love a heat killer version in the grand scheme of things. I'm a huge fan of heat killer. I use them. Um, my last build, I'm using in this build. But we'll see. So hopefully that's helpful. If anyone wants close-up pictures or anything more, uh, kind of comparing these two, let me know. And I will answer those questions, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more updates on my PC build as the year progresses and I get that done. I'm excited to finally have that done after planning for five plus years. So everyone have a great one. Thanks.